heart of mine. It is inevitable that we must say goodbye to so many beloved things in life, yet it is never an easy task. We must all say goodbye to the childhood hero of many, a man who has taught so many of us so much. That man is Mr. Satan. It is no secret that Mr. Satan, the beloved host of children's televisions, Mr. Satan and the Coswell Kids, has had his share of scandals. Within the last few years, he has battled alcoholism and drug addiction. Although he defeated these ailments, his image of wholesome child hero has been forever tarnished a leading factor to the cancellation of his program this fall. Mr. Satan had this to say. 25 years I taught America to learn. I taught children to be moral, upstanding citizens. But now, because of a few mere mistakes, I am chastised. I feel like Hester Pride. Many people are concerned that you'll slip back into your days of alcoholic mass hysteria. Alcohol was something I couldn't control. It controlled me. But now I have beat All things considered, you are the Prince of Darkness. I'm not a prince at all. An organization called SOS has risen to fight to keep Mr. Satan on the air. We asked a few of its members to comment on the situation. My name is Cecil Bartholomew. I am president and founder of Save Our Satan, uh, a group which tries to keep good uh, quality programming on the air. We love Satan, and Jesus is he's a little wussy boy who's complaining. And I, I, I seen Jesse over there, and she was coming around here. I was like, Look out, Jesse! Look out! Yeah. I like that Satan. He's my daddy. I love that guy. My kids love that Satan feller. And I'll tell you one goddamn thing. If they take him off the air, there's gonna be hell to pay. Most disheartening is the apparent inability for SOS to truly save Mr. Satan. This fall, Mr. Satan and the Coswell Kids will be replaced by Christian conglomerate's new children's program, Jesus and His Apostle Friends. I traveled to Jesus' home to get his point of view on the matter. I'm the best! I'm Jesus for Christ's sake! I can float! You lose your heart? You damn right it is. You know, they order a pizza. They order a medium pizza, they want more pizza. They get a large pizza for $3, they want more pizza. Jesus doesn't deserve a children's show. Who the hell does? Certainly not that damn Satan. No, I mean, people get money, they call me up, they got when I'm their friend. Hell, they want me to be their friend to make them more money. What, what, what can I do about that? Right. Damn, you want a big... God damn, we're gonna put a fucking fear in here! I'm sick of all you bastards. Fuck y'all all burn in hell. Hey, screw you, Jesus. I asked each contender why they deserve to have a children's show. Their replies were varied. I just want to make the children laugh. I like the money. I get that camera out of my face. And so it seems, in the end, Jesus will be victorious. And our dear, lovable Satan shall lose out, along with the rest of us here in society. Truly a sad day. This is Tom Shepley reporting. Break yourself.